In a groundbreaking revelation that could redefine humanity's place in the universe, NASA has disclosed the detection of what appear to be the first extraterrestrial communications emanating from the direction of Proxima b. This is the closest known exoplanet to Earth, situated just over four light years away within the habitable zone of its host star, Proxima Centauri. This finding has ignited global excitement and intrigue. Could this be the pivotal moment when humankind learns it is not the sole intelligent life in the cosmos? This monumental event stemmed from thorough and careful monitoring by NASA's advanced telescopic systems, which have been systematically scanning remote stars and planetary systems for any indications of life. Proxima b has consistently been a primary target in the hunt for extraterrestrial intelligence due to its Earth-like properties and relative proximity to our solar neighborhood. The signal that has been picked up is notably unique and unlike anything previously recorded by astronomers, signaling what could be a transformative episode in human history. The potential ramifications of this discovery are vast. Firstly, it supports the long-held scientific premise that life might develop on planets with conditions similar to those on Earth. Secondly, and perhaps even more compelling, it provokes questions about the potential civilizations that could exist there. Are they basic microbial forms or sophisticated beings with the capability for interstellar messaging and perhaps even space travel? This signal originating from Proxima b is not merely background interference or a random cosmic occurrence. It presents a consistent, pattern structure that implies it could have an intelligent source. NASA researchers, collaborating with international scientific teams, are now engaged in the intricate task of decoding the message, striving to interpret both its meaning and its purpose. The scientific community worldwide is abuzz with hypotheses and conjectures regarding the content of the transmission. It could be a manual, a salutation, a warning, or something entirely outside our imagination. News of this discovery has rapidly moved beyond the realm of science, sparking discussions across social networks, political chambers, and family dinners around the globe. People are now gazing at the night sky with revitalized awe, considering the possibility that other beings might be doing the same from their distant planet. How might their environment compare to ours? What level of technological and cultural advancement might their civilization have reached? The possibilities seem as boundless as the universe itself. Additionally, this detection prompts a variety of philosophical and moral considerations. How should humanity respond if these signals are indeed from sentient life attempting contact? What interstellar communication protocol should be established? Most significantly, how would such an event alter our beliefs about religion, existence, and what it means to be human? While enthusiasm continues to build, there is also a sense of cautious skepticism. Top scientists at NASA and various space research institutions are meticulously verifying these findings to rule out errors or false signals. We are possibly on the threshold of the most consequential discovery in human history, so the subsequent steps must be undertaken with utmost accuracy and care. The global community watches with anticipation as more detailed evaluations are awaited. The detection of alien signals from Proxima B not only accelerates our scientific exploration, but also unites us with a shared sense of curiosity and hope. We may be close to resolving one of humanity's oldest and most profound questions. Are we alone in the universe? In April 2019, a radio transmission was identified coming from outer space, more precisely from the region around Proxima Centauri, located 4.37 light-years from Earth. While this distance may sound substantial, Proxima Centauri is actually the nearest star to the Sun, being roughly three times farther than the third brightest stars visible in our night sky. The signal originates from a tri-star system comprising the binary stars Alpha Centauri A and B, along with Alpha Centauri C, which is also referred to as Proxima Centauri. Alpha Centauri A and B, the stellar pair, are relatively close in proximity and bear significant resemblance to our Sun Alpha Centauri, a emits a golden hue and shines 1.5 times more brightly than the sun, whereas Alpha Centauri b has a dimmer, orange glow, and is half as bright. Size-wise, our sun fits snugly between these two stars. Alpha Centauri a is slightly larger, and b is somewhat smaller. But what exactly is the source of the signal between these two stars? The landmark Breakthrough Listen Project, which is focused on detecting alien transmissions in the cosmos, 
has designated the signal as Breakthrough Listening Candidate 1, or BLC1. Backed by nearly $100 million in funding, this initiative utilizes thousands of observational hours across cutting-edge telescopes globally. The signal was captured by the Parkes Radio Telescope in New South Wales, Australia, which was specifically observing the Proxima Centauri region, our solar system's nearest stellar neighbor. Initially, this signal almost went unnoticed amid the immense volume of data collected. Yet, scientists successfully isolated it, akin to spotting a needle in a haystack. For a signal to qualify as potentially artificial, it must meet two crucial criteria. First, it must be confined to a narrow frequency range, as such emissions do not typically originate from natural celestial phenomena. Second, the frequency must shift in accordance with the relative motion of the planet compared to Earth. Researchers analyzed nearly 4 million individual signals gathered by the Australian telescope. Through an exhaustive filtering process, they identified 5,000 distinct signals, among which one stood out, a unique signal that could not be explained by known terrestrial sources. This narrowband, potentially technological signal only appeared when the telescope was pointed at Proxima Centauri and persisted over a 30-hour span. After in-depth scrutiny, the source was determined to be Proxima b, a planet discovered in 2016 through the radial velocity technique. This method identifies wobbles in a star's position caused by the gravitational tug of orbiting planets. Scientists use highly sensitive spectrographs to track the star's light, which shifts toward blue as it approaches and toward red as it recedes. When this shifting occurs consistently over time, it signals the presence of a gravitationally bound planet. Closer analysis reveals that Proxima b is remarkably similar to Earth, with a radius 1.1 times and a mass 1.3 times that of our planet, indicating a rocky terrain with comparable density. However, critical differences exist, most notably, their distance from their respective stars. Proxima b orbits its star at just 0.05 astronomical units, compared to Mercury's 39 cents from the Sun. Despite this close proximity, Proxima Centauri's status as a faint red dwarf means the planet receives just 60% of the sunlight Earth does, placing it within the habitable zone where conditions might support life. The universe contains countless as yet unexplored planets. To date, scientists have identified approximately 4,935 exoplanets, and a recent addition of 65 new celestial bodies has increased this count to over 5,000. These latest additions were included in NASA's Exoplanet Archive on March 21st of this year, marking a significant achievement in planetary discovery. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, stands as the most sophisticated telescope ever constructed, boasting a sensitivity 100 times greater than its predecessor. With its capabilities, humanity is poised to unveil the mysteries of the cosmos like never before. So far, we have encountered an astonishing variety of planets, ranging from rocky terrestrial worlds to gas giants surpassing Jupiter in size, some searingly hot, others situated within the habitable zone. Among these, Kepler 1649c stands out as the most Earth-like planet discovered, exhibiting qualities that suggest it could sustain life. To date, scientists have found 55 planets resembling Earth, though comprehensive studies of each have yet to be completed. With rapid technological advancements, particularly those made possible by the James Webb Space Telescope, the future of space exploration holds extraordinary promise. Imagine discovering a planet fully capable of nurturing life. One of JWST's core objectives during its inaugural scientific year is to locate and analyze alien worlds outside our solar system, with a special emphasis on understanding how they form and whether they might harbor water or living organisms. The telescope's investigations into stellar and planetary formation enable researchers to bridge the gap between mature exoplanets and their initial developmental conditions, shedding light on how our solar system connects to broader cosmic origins. JWST's infrared technology is perfectly suited for uncovering the processes behind star and planet creation for several reasons. It can penetrate cosmic dust effectively, detect thermal emissions from young stars and planets, and identify essential organic molecules and water. Mid-infrared wavelengths, in particular, can pierce clouds 20 times denser than visible light, which is especially valuable for observing young stars still nestled within their birth clouds. 
These infrared capabilities are pivotal because they allow astronomers to witness the earliest phases of star formation, as gas and dust contract to form new celestial bodies. Both young stars and massive planets begin as large, inflated objects that gradually shrink. As they evolve, young stars heat up while giant planets cool, but both emit more energy in the infrared than visible spectrum making JWST an exceptional tool for discovering and understanding the formation of new worlds. Moreover, JWST's MIRI, mid-infrared instrument, will examine the presence of hot molecular gas around numerous young stars, potentially signaling the formation of rocky planets that could support life. Unsurprisingly, a major focus of the telescope's early scientific mission is to determine how planetary systems construct the molecules essential for life to emerge. As the scientific community continues to pore over this groundbreaking signal, there is an increasing drive to improve our detection methods and refine our instruments. The success of the Parkes Telescope in identifying BLC-1 has intensified global interest in expanding facilities devoted to radio astronomy. Projects like the Square Kilometer Array, SKA, an international initiative being built in Australia and South Africa, promise to revolutionize our capacity to detect faint and distant radio emissions. With its immense sensitivity and resolution, the SKA will allow astronomers to examine millions of star systems, potentially uncovering many more signs of life or intelligent activity. Simultaneously, the prospect of contact with alien intelligence forces humanity to confront a host of unprecedented philosophical, social, and technological challenges. Scientists, Ethicists and policymakers are beginning to engage in serious conversations about how to prepare for the implications of such a discovery. Questions about who should represent Earth in any interstellar dialogue, what kind of messages we might send in return, and how to manage public reaction are all being considered. The formation of new interdisciplinary fields, such as astrobiology and space ethics, reflects this growing need for comprehensive approaches to cosmic discovery. Moreover, this potential contact reinvigorates interest in SETI, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, and challenges previous assumptions that life elsewhere would be rare or fundamentally unlike life on Earth. It also adds urgency to planetary protection efforts, ensuring that future missions do not unintentionally contaminate alien ecosystems or vice versa. As humanity stands on the cusp of possibly answering the age-old question of whether we are alone, this moment may be remembered not just for its scientific significance, but also for how it united our species in wonder, humility, and anticipation. What lies ahead could reshape our civilization's trajectory forever.